Boys and girls, hello. Let's do a little bit of a foundations review since uh, we just did some more today in class and I wanted to stay fresh when you go home. So your parents haven't seen this. This is your letter board, right? And maybe you can tell them why some of these letters are red or salmon colored. Right, because they're vowels, which means that the other ones are consonants. And the five tiles on the left are called, yes, they're called digraphs. Di means two, graph means writing. So there are two letters that make just one sound. And last month, we, in unit one, before our test, we built pretty simple words using the digraphs, like this one. I'm not going to read them to you because I know you can do it. Okay, no problem. And we used three tiles to make these. And we also learned about the two nasal sounds. Do you remember which letters make the nasal sounds? Yes. Very good. Okay, and we need our noses to make these sounds. It is actually impossible for anyone to make an N or an M sound without their nose. And if you block your nose so that no air gets in or out, and if you close your mouth, you can't make these sounds. So we're all lucky that we've got one of these, right? Nasal, nasal sounds. All right, now this time we're adding all these green tiles. And what are these called? Right, these are the glued sounds or the welded sounds. Good. And last week we focused just on one of them, on all. And it's one of those funny uh, glued sounds because it has a bonus letter at the end. It's got that second L. And we don't actually pronounce the L. But what does it do? It changes the sound of the A. If we only had AL, it would be AL, like Alistair, or Algebra, or Albert. But when we put two L's there, it becomes ALL. And do you remember which trick word doesn't follow this rule? Good. SHALL. S-H-A-L-L. So now let's take a look at these green tiles and see, and let's see what we can make with them. Just using two tiles, we can make words like this one and this one and this one and stir. Remember what that is? That's a blend. You can hear the S, the T, and the R, st, er. When we use glued sounds like ong, we can kind of hear all three, but they're so close together that we don't hear them clearly. So we would never say strong or long. Okay, that's what's unique about most of these blends. Let's see if you can read these out loud quickly. Right, bang, sang, and tang. Okay, so pause and see if you can read these out loud. 
and hopefully somebody at home can hear you. Okay, I'm assuming that you paused, read them all correctly, and are now ready to move on. Fang. Hang. Pang. And don't worry if you don't know what these words mean. We're just working on saying them and spelling them correctly. Dunk. Punk. Junk. Plunk, plunk, kerplunk, blink, flink, shrink. Rank, flank, crank, okay, let's see if you can spell these six words and pause whenever you need to. The first word is hang. I always hang up my jacket when I go home. Hang. And here's how it's spelled. The next word is lung. Lung. Because he has a problem with his lung, he cannot breathe very easily. Lung. And here's how that's spelled. The third word is long, long. Yesterday was a very long day. Long. And here it is. The next word is yam yam i was hungry so i ate another yam here it is your fifth word is flam flam Every good drummer knows how to play a flam. Flam. Okay, and here's the spelling. And, uh-oh. I don't know if you're going to remember this one. The last word is stink. Stink. If you don't wash your shoes and your clothes, they will stink. And here's how it's spelled. And yes, here we go. As I told you before, when I think of stink, I think of this. <laughs> oh, SpongeBob, please. That stinks. It stinks. Oh, what a stink. <laughs> the end. <laughs>